Hi, it's Izumi again, and I'm running Christmas Thiazi Strikes 8-Star Multi-Solo. So, my front tank is going to be Solstice. And here's what she has. Nothing too special. Next is going to be Dinah. Alright. Third is going to be Wanderer Port. Not much different except for the Blades of Betrayal. I've only got one of those, so I'd run more. Chun Li is there for the debuffs. And Envy is mostly used for the quick. So here we go. Christmas Triazi is in the magic row, is Yotun, and is considered to be grounded. His action skill, Blinding Ornament, does 120% earth magic attack damage and confuse for three turns to the nearest enemy row. Confuse effect applies only to humans, Therians, Elves, and Yotun. His auto skill does earth magic attack damage and a random status ailment effect for one turn to all heroes in the connect battle. Status ailments applies only to humans, Therians, Elves, and Yotun. On 7 star difficulty and above, status ailments instead apply to Aesir, Therians, y Yotun, and Beast. On 7 star there is a leaf field, on 8 star there is a high leaf field. Alright, now comes the fun part. The fire magic crystal is in the magic row. Its skill is fire resistance 50% up for 3 turns and magic attack up for 3 turns to Christmas Triazi. On 8 star difficulty it gives the skill 100% shield for 3 turns to self. The water magic crystal is also in the magic row. Its skill is water resistance 50% up for 3 turns to Christmas Triazi. Magic defense down for three turns to three random enemies. On eight star, it gives the skill 100% shield to for three turns to self. Last is the magic crystals. The light ones are in the ranged row. They deal light magic attack damage and a random status ailment for three turns to the nearest enemy. Status ailment. Effect applies only to Aesir, Humans, Therians, Yotuns, and Beast. On 7 star difficulty and above, it gives 60% uh, shield for 3 turns to Christmas Triazi. My strategy with this fight is to pretty much ignore the Fire Crystal and the Water Crystal particularly on 8 star that 100% shield is hard to ignore and unless you have particular equipment that'll bypass that shield you're not going to crush those crystals so there's no point in even trying um so i just crush the back two light crystals and then focus on hitting uh christmas triazi himself with uh light and dark damage and you know the most status effect that you have to worry about that it keeps talking about is confuse. So that's pretty much all there is to it there. Um, some other hero recommendations you can use other than the ones that I'm currently using are going to be uh, Elf Queen Quarries, uh, Awakened Momiji, Pure Elf Noah, General Tholin, Flower Mage Rapunzel, Protector Atricia, Night Conjurer Knot, um, Awakened Madoka if you were lucky enough to get her, uh, Taylor Lamina, Larone, Lyrist, 
Monk Lu Ling, and Lethal Bikini Risa. And all in all with my team, um, for the most part, I'm just uh, choosing to ignore the fire and the water crystal and then crushing the back to light crystals. And then just kind of hitting the boss with everything I got. So that's the main reasons why I'm using um, port and envy and then of course chun li is this there for the debuffs and it once you can get those up to 50 percent like you can see there then the boss's health tends to go down a lot faster so just a couple more hits here And there we go. Halloween coins on a Christmas event. So there's the damage and thank you for watching.